In question 3 of this exercise, the problem statement says, find the square roots of 100 and 169 by the method of repeated subtraction. What is this method of repeated subtraction? Well, this method is based on the fact that the sum of the first n odd natural numbers is equal to n square. So, if you use this fact in reverse, which means that if you keep subtracting successive odd natural numbers from a perfect square, you should end up at 0. Let's take an example to understand this method. So before we go to the actual question, let's first take an example to understand this method. Let's take the perfect square number 25 and let's subtract successive odd natural numbers from this number. So first we subtract 1 and that gives us 24. Then we subtract 3 that gives us 21. Then we subtract 5 and that gives us 16 and then we subtract 7 that gives us 9 and then we subtract 9 and that gives us uh, 0. So in all to reach from 25 to 0 we subtracted 5 odd numbers over 5 steps and those uh, numbers were 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So we subtracted these 5 odd natural numbers from 25 and this means that 25 is the sum of the first 5 odd natural numbers and hence 25 is equal to 5 square and from here we can conclude that the square root of 25 is equal to 5. Now let's apply this method to find the square roots of the numbers 100 and 169. So first let's do the number 100. So we start from 100 and we keep subtracting odd successive odd natural numbers. So first we subtract 1 that gives us 99. Then we subtract 3 that gives us 96. Then we subtract 5 and that gives us um, 91. Then we subtract 7 that gives us 84. Then we subtract 9 that gives us um, 70. 5 and then we subtract 11 and let me write it here so that gives us 64 and then we subtract 13 and that gives us 51 then we subtract 15 that gives us 36 then we subtract 17 that gives us 19 and finally we subtract 19 and that gives us 0. So how many numbers, how many odd natural numbers did we subtract? So we subtracted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So in all we subtracted the first 10 odd natural numbers from 100 and that gave us 0 at the end. So this means that 100 is equal to the sum of the first 10 odd natural numbers so 100 is equal to 10 square and from here we can conclude that the square root of 100 will be equal to 10 so this is the answer for the square root of 100 now let's do the square root of 169 in a similar manner so we have 169 and we start by subtracting 1 so that gives us 168 then we subtract 3 that gives us 165 then we subtract 5 that gives us 160 then we subtract 7 that gives us 153 and then we subtract 9 that gives us 144 and then we subtract 11 that gives us 133 then we subtract 13 and that gives us 120 then we subtract 15 that gives us 105 then we subtract 17 and that gives us 88 then we subtract 19 and that gives us 69 and then we subtract 21 and that gives us 48 and then we subtract 23 
that gives us 25 and finally we subtract 25 and that gives us 0. So from 169 we have gone to 0 by subtracting these successive odd natural numbers. So let's count how many numbers we subtracted. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So we subtracted the first 13 odd natural numbers from 169 to get to 0 and this means that 169 is the sum of the first 13 odd natural numbers and hence 169 is equal to 13 square and from here we can conclude that the square root of 169 will be equal to 13. So that completes the second part the square root of 169 by the method of repeated subtraction we have found to be equal to 13 and this completes question number 3. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.